this video starts, guys, I just want to make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. We've been growing really well here on the channel, pumping out new content every week, three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Haven't missed a week or a day or a week, I guess. I don't know. I haven't missed a schedule in almost two months I think it is so make sure you guys subscribe we got tons of tons of content going on with this new content and old content for you guys to watch if you haven't seen any other Jeep videos there will be a playlist down below or cards on the screen now somewhere up around that you guys can click and uh, check out so let's get right into the video welcome back to BJP lifestyle guys behind me we got the Jeep um, we're gonna be going over some updates there's the Jeep there oh there's a oh. You know what, anyway, I'm going to be going into some updates that I've done to the uh, to the Jeep here and uh, a few things that we have so you guys can see an updated perspective of where it's at. So you guys can see an updated perspective of where it's at. Um, we do have a lot more updates coming, especially bigger ones. These are kind of small. Um, I have a new video coming Friday, which is going to be another update that I'm going to be doing. I'm recording this now. It's Tuesday. So yeah, we have a bunch more upgrades that we're going to be doing. So let's just go ahead and hop into it and show you guys the few things that we've done. And I also have one more new issue that I want to talk to you guys about and let you guys know that I've been having that I had the other day, which is kind of a funny story. So here we go. This is what the Jeep looks like now. Uh, she's sitting in a lot more pretty than she was uh, since I got her. Uh, most notably is going to be this lovely window tint here in the front. Uh, it's just matched. I believe it's like 5 over 20, so 25%. Um, yeah, so I believe it's 5 over 20 or something like that, so it's... It looks pretty good. I didn't do the windshield, but I've already contacted them and I'm going to be getting an appointment set up so I can do the windshield and get that done. Um, back here's kind of like a front view because like without it, I mean, look at it. It needs a windshield. <laughs> it needs the windshield tinted. Uh, but yeah, so just going around, we obviously got the, the black wheels we've had. Uh, red calipers, you guys have seen those in previous videos. Um, now we put the black lugs on. If you guys saw that video on putting the black lugs on, then I did do an install video on that. I did do an install video on that, and then it's about to start raining. I can feel it. It's raining, so I might have to jump into the car here. So let's just quickly go around and show the outside. We got this. I'm getting rained on. This is awful. Um, but this is the new sticker, so I'm going to jump in the car here and just kind of talk about the issue that I had and all the other new things because I'm getting rained on. All right, yeah, so that was probably the worst timing uh, ever. Um, so let me go ahead and figure out a way to set the camera up and uh, we'll kind of talk about what we got going on with the Jeep, I, I guess. All right, so we got this set up back just like old times in the truck here when I first started my videos before I got better with my videos. I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. So, so now that the rain decided to ruin my video, which it seems to have stopped because you don't hear it in the background, but we might be able to jump back out in a minute. But let me just kind of go over what happened and what the issue was that I had with the car now. So, so the other day I was out and about, you know, hitting some yard sales, trying to make some flips happen, you know, just doing what I do to make a little side money and whatever. But key fob always in my pocket so this is the key fob that comes in the 2018 and i believe like 2017 2016 all kinds of jeeps uh, it's a very generic jeep key fob um so uh, i stop somewhere get out lock the car when i tried to lock the car with the button on the outside like it has a little push button press it it doesn't lock so i'm like okay that's a little bit weird it wouldn't lock whatever maybe doors open whatever open the door close it again still wouldn't do it so i'm like okay went around to the other side same thing wouldn't work opened it closed it and then it worked so i'm like all right at least it locked whatever go in come back out and when i come back out that's when i'm sitting there pressing like putting my hand behind the door both sides wouldn't unlock so that's that was awesome so i start pressing the unlock button here on the key and again, it wouldn't open up. So the key fob itself wasn't working there with just the unlock button. So that was again strange. So my instant reaction is, okay, no problem. I'll just go ahead and push the little button here, pull my metal key out, put it in the door, and at least we can get into the car. So I do that. As soon as I do it and open the door, the alarm starts screaming at me, which doesn't make much sense because I used the key to open the door. So I don't know why it's yelling at me. When the alarm starts going off, I can't push start it. I can't lock it on the doors. I can't lock it on the fob or anything. So I just, I'm sitting there with the alarm screaming at me. My girlfriend's looking at me like, what do you, the, like, turn it off. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's going on? And I'm just, I'm like, oh, they're going to think I'm stealing it. This is great. So I'm like pressing the unlock and the lock buttons like crazy, trying to get it to do something. And then finally, after about like 20 presses of each, it finally did something and the alarm went off and it worked. And since then, it's been working fine. But 
I don't know if there's an issue with this. And when I got the car, it told me on here that the key fob battery was low. So I did go purchase one of like the 2032s or whatever the battery is, put the battery in there. So I had a brand new battery. So there's no reason it should have died or anything like that. But it did, of course, with my luck. So I'm gonna monitor that and keep you guys updated, of course, as to if I keep having key fob issues. So far, it was the only time I've had any issues with it, but hopefully it stays that way. And hopefully I don't have to like get a new key or get anything reprogrammed on the car or anything like that, because that would suck. So it looks like it stopped raining. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back outside and show you guys the wet car and uh, everything else that I can show you around it. So that was probably the most rude five seconds of rain I've ever had happen to me. I finally get here, finally start recording the video and it rains on me. So hopefully that first video shot was in focus. Uh, I did have it on manual focus, not auto. So yeah, so let's, let's, just, let's just go around the car, tell you everything that's done to it now and maybe sneak preview the few things that are gonna be coming this next few months. So. Um, obviously this was one of the first things I did the little license plate cover I'm hopefully gonna be getting a custom one like a, like a What's the name of that a vanity plate, but we'll have to see we got a, a Oh, it's a fly. He was hitching a ride on my car um, Yeah, so so that was the first thing I did and then after doing that I'm trying to think what the next upgrade or Upgrade or thing that I did to it was um, maybe it was the calipers, I don't know, but I did the red calipers, I did the black lugs, I got the window tint on now, I got this nice fancy sticker today with my YouTube on it, so if you ever see it out, if you're, if you're anywhere near me, then and you see that, make sure you say what's up. Um, I doubt you'll be watching this video and say what's up though, so, you know, it is what it is, but, oh, we did the front grill inserts as well, so this is what it looks like with those, uh, kind of step back here and give you a better view. Um, like I said, I think the windshield needs it, like, it's just the only thing that stands out that's not black. It's kind of got a bluish tint to it almost. So I feel like once we go ahead and tint that out, just look at the difference. Oh, it's going to look beautiful. I think that's going to be the last touch that really needs to be done. Um, as far as future mods that are coming, I did have a, uh, I did have a company reach out about doing lights, uh, LED bulbs. So I think I might be setting something up with them. You guys will be getting a discount code and I would just be getting a set of lights to put in the car here and do an install video and all that kind of noise. Um, but again, not sure if that's gonna happen yet or what's gonna happen with it, but LED lights are definitely something I wanna do in the future um, if I don't do it with that. Um, look at this, I got rained on by like oil or something. Do you see this? Car is so dirty, I need to get it a good wash, but it's, it's fine for now. So yeah, LED bulbs are definitely gonna be something, especially with the windows or with the front window being tinted. Uh, people were saying that that's going to be a big thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and get some better headlights because the halogen bulbs are trash. I said that from the start. I think I had like either, L I think I'm pretty sure it was HIDs in my truck, but they might have just been normal LEDs. But, but yeah, so that's one of the things. And then I'll just go ahead and reveal it for the few people that are watching this video. Um, the exhaust is coming. I ordered an exhaust um, probably about... Hmm, I think I ordered the exhaust like a month and a half ago and it's not even gonna be done processing and like shipping until early to mid October. So that's gonna be coming. It's a really nice sound. It's not like a super, super, super loud or super like annoying sound. It's got a really good sound to it. And it's really only at the higher RPMs that you're gonna get that loud uh, screaming exhaust, which even then it's not really super screamy. So, so yeah, this is kind of where it's sitting now. If you guys have any other things that you guys think I should be doing, oh, wait, wait. The new video that should be coming Friday, assuming that I can do it, is going to be the Crux Motorsports, Crew Motorsports. I don't know how to say it. I think I might be a little bit slow on that one. But the uh, the tail light, the tail light kit, I did get it with the dark, um, the dark tint for the middle of the head or the tail light. But I tried to put it on and I screwed it up super bad. I was really bad at it. So I'm going to try doing it a different way and maybe doing it a little bit better. We'll see what happens with that, I suppose, because if I can't get it on, then I can't get it on. But I did purchase it, so that's another video that hopefully is supposed to be going on Friday if I can get it done within the next th two or three days. Um, if not, then there'll be another upload Friday. Obviously, I new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I haven't missed a day in almost two months, so we're going strong out here. Um, but yeah. That's going to probably be about it for this video, guys. So if you did enjoy, make sure you click that like button down below. If you got anything from it or you like the Jeep or you think there's anything else that I could do to it to make it better, uh, of course, subscribe to stay to future content. Like I said, we have a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the channel. 
and they're only getting better and better. So yeah, subscribe for that. And that's about it. Peace.